Welcome back to the DB Tech channel, everyone. My name is Darius, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Starlink. This video is going to be pretty exciting for me because it's literally Starlink. It's it's satellite internet, and I ordered mine about a month ago. And when I ordered it, I got an estimated wait time of like late 2023. I expected to get it late 2023. And like a month later after I ordered it, I got an email from Tesla or I got an email from Starlink letting me know that I am able to purchase it or get the kit and I had seven days to confirm it and I was just not prepared that it would come so quickly. Regardless, I was really excited to get that email and what do you know, uh, it came in way faster than I expected. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it, kind of showing off what it looks like. Hopefully I can get it set up. I do live in an apartment, so I don't even know how. Um, I'm gonna get it set up. I don't know if it's even gonna work because I know that it has to be out in an open space, but it's cool just to be able to unbox it, check it out, see what it's uh, capable of. I'm, I'm really curious about the speeds, the uh, download speeds, upload speeds, the ping. Okay, so let's get into the unboxing. It's a really big box. You can see I already removed the tape, but it's a really big box. So I don't have much desk space to unbox it, but I'm gonna try to get you the best view possible. So immediately after opening the box, it's just this really thick piece of plastic that covers it. Um, just mold it to the legs of the of the Starlink and uh, comes with these really, really massive legs. And I was surprised that it's metal. It's like solid, solid metal. If I can, it's like solid metal and it feels like really good quality. I, you know, just buying products over time, you expect kind of low quality things. And this actually, um, was very different, it's, full, it's it's all metal, and you can tell that this is sturdy and that should last you a pretty long time. Next in the box, we have this panel. It's really big, pretty big, a lot bigger than I expected, but this is what the panel looks like. It's really, really big, um, a lot bigger than I expected, and you can see back here, this is where you attach the legs, and you can mount it on a pole or mount it on your roof, whatever you want. Under that, <clears throat> we have this piece of paper and very simple steps or directions on how to get it set up. So this is why I'm a little worried why I might not be able to get this set up in my apartment, but it kind of tells you or guides you on how to get it set up, um, how to get the uh, modem or router set up and then obviously setting it up on your mobile app. In the box, there's also this super duper long cable, obviously for power. And I don't even know how, how long that is. I think that's like a hundred feet. I don't remember exactly, but it's a really long cable. So you could set this thing up pretty much anywhere. And then we have this router. It's very different than a typical router. It, it looks really cool too. It's actually pretty heavy, it feels like it's solid, good quality. But what, what I really like about the connections is that they didn't just like put it on the back or on the sides anywhere. They actually put the connections deep in, uh, on the bottom and deep inside this router. So like, for example, I think that's a micro USB, but the that connection right there is, you can see it's, it's like about maybe an inch and a half, two inches inside there. And then the power cable or the power connection here is also fairly deep and on the bottom there. So like if for any reason at all, maybe it's even sitting outside, you could probably even place this thing outside because there's not really any openings that would damage this if you were to stand this up somewhere outside. And we also have this power cable and this is just simple, very simple power cable. And then over here we have the uh, connection for getting it set up with your router so this might be kind of a dumb idea i don't know if it's gonna work i mostly got this starlink just so you know for context i, I know i live in an apartment but um i got this just because i thought it'd be really cool to have and if i can set it up cool if not totally fine i already have internet set up so this could be a crazy idea i don't know I'm just going to open up this window, just like open up the shades and point it out, point out the, this panel like out the window. And if it works great, it'll make for an even better video. If not, 
then it is what it is. I just wanted to show you guys what the Starlink kit looks like. Um, it's close to like $700. And then if you want to get, if you want to set up for the uh, monthly payment, um, it's $110. Hopefully, I don't know. I think you can get over a hundred download, maybe close to a hundred upload. Um, but we'll see if I can get this set up and if I can, it would be super cool. So you guys are actually doing this with me. I haven't tried it yet. So let's give it a go. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Let's get the shades opened up. So we have the, it's, it's a pretty decent window, right? I mean, it's a pretty big window. Nice view outside. Uh, there is a tree blocking the window. So I'm going to try to maybe aim it somewhere where there's a little bit more open air or light because this tree is in the way a bit. So first thing, I'm going to place this panel and uh, get it set up on the legs going. Okay, so that's locked into place. Let's see if I can do something that'll make this work. Okay, so before I try to get the right perfect position with this, I'm going to have to connect everything to power. So what I'm gonna do is grab this router here. And this is what the power connection looks like for the router and it's actually insulated too look at that it's got like rubber um it's got rubber all around it so you could literally put this thing outside and it won't get wet because it's insulated they even thought about insulating the power connection so let's do that let's plug it in and plugs in very nicely there uh, i think i think it's a micro usb don't don't quote me on this we can see now that there's a white light uh letting us know that it's on the way around like that okay and it goes in just like that okay i know this probably looks so ridiculous to everyone watching but i don't care it's starlink i'm excited oh wow look at that wow so it's automatically now looking for where to angle it best uh, to get the best connection. But again, I don't think this is gonna work out well if, uh, you know, if I'm in an apartment right now. I probably would have been better off doing this in a field somewhere, but. Okay, so next I'm going to open the Starlink app. Um, and we're going to start setup, check for obstructions. Um, and then I think I can use the camera. So it says, so it says here, find an open area, go outside and stand where you intend to set up your Starlink. So I probably will have to be or should be outside for this, but uh, scan the entire sky, use your device's camera to explore your Starlink's entire field of view. So uh, it's kind of reading or scanning the sky for any obstructions. There's tons of obstructions right now, but it looks like that's probably the best opening right there. It's where I was thinking. Okay, so scanning is done. I'm gonna view the results. Okay, it's all plugged in. I'm gonna open up the Wi-Fi settings. Okay, and we're looking for Starlink. So setting it up in the apartment clearly was not a good idea and it didn't work out whatsoever. So I actually brought the Starlink kit out to a friend's place. It's a pretty big wide open property and a lot of open sky, no obstructions, pretty much whatsoever. And I'm going to set it up. I'm gonna to try to actually set it up on that deck up there. And if that doesn't even work, I would be totally surprised if that didn't work. So the piece that uh, holds the phone on the tripod just broke off after I dropped the tripod. There's a nice review that I actually did on this tripod. router is just gonna stay downstairs plugged into 
it's gonna stay downstairs inside the house where it's just gonna stay plugged in, have power. All right, so we're gonna plug in the power right here. Insulated very nicely. Okay, that's plugged in. Nice and snug in there. Okay, so we got the cable just running under the door, routing up and up there. I know it's a little weird, but I think this should work. This, so now it says this is a decent spot for your Starlink. So next up we're gonna do is open up, now that everything is plugged in, it's all set up, I'm going to see if the Starlink network pops up. Okay, I don't know if this is the right network, but I see that Stinky popped up. Let's see if that works. Yep, and that should that should be it actually. And you know what I just realized? This probably could have worked at my apartment, but I thought Stinky was a different network because there were so many networks um, at my apartment, but let's see if this works. Okay, so I just created a Starlink uh, network. So I just named it Starlink and I said I password to it. I'm gonna hit join. Okay, and let's see if we're connected to Starlink. Okay, looks like it's connected. And it looks like it self-positioned, or it might have self-positioned already, but let's see. Let's test the network. Okay, so we can see here it's connected SpaceX Starlink iPhone 12 Pro. I'm gonna set this to single, so I think it should be just the Wi-Fi connection instead of um, combining it with the cellular. So let's see if this works. We're on Wi-Fi, as you can tell. SpaceX Starlink. Oh my, wow, 45, 45 milliseconds ping. We're getting 100, I mean, it just keeps going up, 160, 163 download so far. So I'm gonna go on airplane mode and I'm gonna keep the Wi-Fi on just to make sure that this isn't using my cellular data. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that this is only using I'm gonna make sure that this is only using the Starlink uh, Wi-Fi connection. So let's see if we can get some videos loaded on YouTube here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so impressive. I can't believe it. We're on airplane mode right now. And it's loading so fast too. Like, let me let me just show you. We're on Starlink right now using any cellular data where, I mean, it says T-Mobile Wi-Fi, but we're, we're just on Wi-Fi. Um, cellular so yeah cellular should be off i mean this is this is impressive this is actually crazy wow let's see this i mean look how fast everything is loading too this is so impressive wow wow let's skip this ad see how fast the video loads i mean there's no lag whatsoever and it's it's downloading the video very quickly too I decided to do one more test just to prove you guys that this is purely Starlink internet, nothing else. So this is one of my secondary iPhones that doesn't have a SIM card installed, no SIM, Wi-Fi only, and we're connected to the Starlink network. And let's go ahead and test the network. Uh, okay, let's see what we get. I was getting like 50 download earlier. So we're getting about nearly 60 now. 61, 62, 63, a little bit, just a little bit slower. This is still insanely fast. Like imagine that, oh my gosh, this upload speed is insane. We're getting 10 upload, just under 10 now. And this will self calibrate. So if it needs a better connection, uh, it will self calibrate, but look at that. Look at those results, 60, uh, 60 milliseconds ping to, uh, we're getting 62 download and nearly seven upload. Let's watch a YouTube video. I mean, why not? Here, I'll exit out of YouTube, restart it. Come on. I mean, look at this, the videos are already loading. Let's click on a Mr. Beast video here. Look at this, no lag. I mean, the video is just loading, no issues. Let's skip, go to another video. 
loading just fine no issues there i mean let's let's download a, a an app why not let's download a game download here let's download disney plus i mean it's not a game but it's an app let's see how fast it downloads disney plus it's loading and look at that we're we're downloading officially downloading on starlink using starlink internet guys this is so crazy it's not obviously not insanely fast and i'm sure it also depends on the location but i mean this is impressive regardless okay so i came inside where the router is closer to it to see if it could get a, get any faster so the the panel is outside upstairs and inside here i'm getting should be getting 100 or close to 100. Well, I was getting 100, of course. Now for the video, it won't. Well, I gotta say, I am really impressed with Starlink internet. Um, and again, thinking back, I remember when I was loading this on my network at the apartment, you could see in the video that um, there was a network called Stinky. I don't know why it was named Stinky. I couldn't see any details on the box where it says that it's called Stinky. Maybe I missed it, but I don't see the network name uh, Stinky anywhere. And that threw me off because there's so many connections um, at my apartment. I thought Stinky was somebody else's network but I think this actually could have worked at my apartment. Like I genuinely think this could have worked. So now I'm curious to test it back in my apartment. So I'm probably just gonna upload this video anyway and see what happens. I regret not actually testing this in my apartment because I, I know for a fact now it should have worked, but it's okay, we got it to work now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this one. If you could please give it a like, subscribe. I'm gonna keep trying to make more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.